tornado, as we said, touched down in Benton in Columbia County. News Watch 16's Carmela Mataloni is live in Columbia County tonight with a look at that damage. Carmela? Good evening, Scott and Charlie. Yes, there was a lot of damage all throughout Columbia County. Right now, Newswatch 16 is in Millville, and as you can see behind me, we have uprooted trees and power lines down. But as you mentioned earlier today, we were in Benton. However, the service there isn't the best, but that's where members of the National Weather Service say an EF1 tornado touched down and caused a lot of destruction. Stanley Steinruck got back to his mobile home in Benton just as the National Weather Service started checking the damage. Stanley was just getting back from the hospital. Strong winds ripped his mobile home in half while he was still in it. And we were right in the middle of it and, um, and then next to I knew there was a wall on top of us. Officials with the National Weather Service confirm a tornado with winds as high as 110 miles an hour touched down in Benton. Crews toward the mobile home and a nearby park. People who live nearby say they are stunned by the amount of damage. I was devastated because I never thought it would be like this here, but too bad. But we'll have to live with it. A building that was once standing behind me here in this park is now in pieces, scattered everywhere. And if you take a look down, you can even see some of the metal even embedded itself into the ground. Benton's assistant fire chief says the community hasn't yet bounced back from the flooding in the fall. Haven't finished cleaning up from that yet, so now we're dealing with this. Benton just keeps getting hammered. <laughs> yeah. Again, officials with the National Weather can with the National Weather Service confirmed that an EF1 tornado with winds up to 110 miles an hour touched down there in Benton. Again, we are about 15 miles from Benton in Millville where you can see there's lots of damage and we have some utility crews trying to clean up. And again, here in Millville, some homes and businesses are still without power. Carmela Mataloni, Newswatch 16, reporting live in Columbia County. Carmela, thank